Beyond the Barricade is a glittering celebration of musical showstoppers and it has returned by popular demand to tour New Zealand. The acclaimed UK production features some of the best songs from the world's greatest West End and Broadway musicals. We are very lucky to have with us now performers Andy Reese, David Fawcett, Katie Lemming and Poppy Tierney. Welcome to New Zealand. Yes. <laughs> Lovely to have you here, and might I say, I'm sure at some stage during this interview, Mike will burst into oh, song. Oh, but rough! I love musicals, but I love them on the inside. He loves musicals, oh, but he on loves the it outside. On the outside. Do you hear the people? Yeah. And there we go. And there we go. Get it out of the way. Um, Andy and David, this is your baby. Tell us a little bit about your backgrounds and how you came up with the concept. Well, um, myself and David worked together in the uh, in the Manchester production of Les Misérables. And uh, at the time, um, we, we were both involved in the show, but we decided to do some charity concerts on a Sunday night, and we proceeded to do that throughout the Manchester run. And it, w it was only until we finished the Manchester run that we thought, well, this seems a really good idea. Mm. And we carried it on, and uh, eventually we named it Beyond the Barricade, and that was quite a few years ago now, so 19 years to be precise. Well, clearly that means, David, it's been going very well for 19 <laughs> yeah, years. Yeah, 19 years, yeah. We, we, we were, Andy and I were, ended up working in London on Les Mis at the time, and uh, um, we said then, you know, what, what are we going to do? When we leave Les Mis, what are we going to do for the rest of our lives, you know? And we, we, we uh, having done these concerts, we, uh, we then thought it's got a commercial product here, so uh, we Very started nice. with that. Yeah. 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 And it's kind of like a, now that's what I call music volume musicals, really, isn't it? Because it's all the good ones, all mm. the, well, not the good, it's so many of the good ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that we know, the ones that we recognise. Oh, yeah, yeah. um, and you decided to cast only Les Mis principal performers, is that right? Yeah, yeah. correct, yes. I mean, it, it, it really came out of the fact that with the name Beyond the Barricade and our, myself and David's connection to Les Mis, it was a natural progression for us to just choose two of the girls that we were working with in Manchester at the time, and that's gone on ever since. I, and uh, brilliant that we've got, you know, not only the world's best musicals, but some of the world's best performers doing these musical hits. <laughs> Katie, tell us a bit more about your background. Oh, so, OK, so I'm from um, Sutton Coldfield in England, and I queued up around a building outside the Lamers Theatre with eight bars of music in my hand. Wow. And um, that's how I got my audition, and I got my part. Incredible. So yeah, I went straight in, but they don't do it like that anymore, really. So what do they do nowadays? It's like a no, video audition, or you throw private, something yeah. Yeah. private auditions yeah. now? But back in the day, we used to all queue around the building. That's wow, you'd be eyeing everybody up, thinking, oh, no, I've got yeah, more yeah, yeah. than what it takes than you. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, yeah. Papa, you play cassette in the UK version of Les Mis, yeah. and you've been involved in all sorts of musicals as well. What do you love about doing this? Do you know what? You never usually in one show get to sing so many songs. It's a concert, but it has so many fantastic numbers. It's basically all the best numbers in all the best shows. I mean, it's brilliant. And the great thing is, too, I saw it a couple of years ago, you actually have a live music session. Yeah, there. It's yeah. not like backing tracks. No. What is the importance of that, for those that don't understand why that's important? Oh, it's brilliant, because emotionally it's driven by you and the music. Yeah, we, we try to produce the sort of sound you'd hear if you saw the musical, you know, in the West End or on Broadway or whatever. And I think if you if you do a use a, a backing track, you tend to get a backing track feel to the whole thing. Right. It becomes a bit more sort of cabaret, whereas it's different every night <laughs> within you know within the, within the uh, the realms of the show. It's, it's different every night. Yeah. And feeling the vibes of the audience as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Andy, what sort of songs have we got in there? Obviously, a lot from Les Mis. What else have we got? Yeah, we've got the the big finale of the show is, is obviously the Les Mis bit, <laughs> uh, but we've got Phantom of the Opera. We've got Miss Saigon. Uh, we dip back into the, the kind of classic old musicals like West Side Story. Uh, we've got some spam a lot. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we've got uh, Hamilton, of course, is, is the we massive yeah. new, new hit. The yeah. new kid on the block who's yeah. doing fantastic business. And so we're going to introduce some Hamilton as well. So, oh, yeah, I like a that. Real, a real mix yeah. of all different styles. And has it changed over the 19 years? Like obviously, you sort of look at the playlist each time you tour and you go, what should we keep and what should we not? Is that how it works? Yeah, it's, cha it's changed a bit, but the core numbers stay the same. So everybody wants to hear the Phantom of the Opera and the Les Miserables, mm. and mm. Yeah. that's what people come for. But um, yeah, like we like adding in the new stuff, don't yeah. we? So, yeah. Yeah. Do you have a favourite, Katie, that you do? <laughs> Me? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, at the moment I'm singing The Winner Takes It All from Mamma Mia. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So um, that's quite new in for me, so I'm enjoying that at the moment. What was the first musical you ever did? Mine? Yeah, when you were a kid. 
Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was in the Wizard of Oz. Right. Wizard of Oz. <laughs> 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 many careers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and what about you? What was your? Can you remember the very first musical you ever did? It was Saigon when I was like seventeen. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, do you have a favourite song? In our show, yeah. definitely Chicago, for me. Nice. Okay, now, you guys were here in New Zealand a couple of years ago. When you tour around the world, did you get the feeling that New Zealanders are quite responsive to musical numbers? Oh, mm. fantastic. I mean, considering that they didn't know who we were, really, um, uh, uh, the response was fantastic. They came in their droves and the, and the reception was brilliant. We got standing ovations and uh, were, yeah, very, very receptive. It was fantastic. Almost like a little taster for people who maybe ha uh, don't think they're musical types, go along to see this and then go, I need to see these musicals now to get the whole big picture. That's right. I think that's what we do. Because some people come who've never seen musicals before and they get dragged along by their wife, normally. And they sit there and they, it's, it's a great compliment at the end when they say, oh, you know, I've, I've never seen a, this musical or whatever, and now it's given me, the, given me the feeling to go and see it. So, that's and good. Andy, just quickly before we go, I heard that you never really had any professional training and then found yourself in Les Mis. That's with, right. With that's, the leading role. So that's inspiring for people, That's correct, it? yeah. And I, I, I do, um, I, t I, take, I take lots of masterclasses in, um, in, in the UK, and, and one of the things that I say to people is, Never let that be an obstacle, you know, that it's kind of follow your dreams in any kind of life, isn't it, really? But mm. in terms of the musical theatre, yeah, I, I literally just kept at it and at it and at it and then ended up singing in and, uh, and directing Les Mis, which oh, a dream fantastic. come true oh. for me. Fantastic. Well, it's been lovely having you all in the studio. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And we are so lucky because Beyond the Barricade is going all over the place. Whangarei, Auckland, Hamilton, Taupo, New Plymouth, Wellington, Napier, Palmerston North, Blenheim, Christchurch, Dunedin, <laughs> and Invercargill as well. Yes. You can check out the Beyond the Barricade website for ticket details.